Okay, so it is Wednesday, and that means house update. So I'm going to stop here and uh, fill up the water tanks so those guys can go do chores. And I'll uh, take you on a tour of the house. And uh, there's some updates that I don't even know about yet, so I haven't seen them. So let's get this water filled up and let's go take a look. Okay. So, take you through the basement here and over the course of the last couple of weeks, plumbers been here doing all the HVAC and all of that looks like it is complete. So this wall here is our walkout wall. We haven't got the windows in yet. So as soon as windows get in, then we can finish that wall out, put the doors, put the windows in. <clears throat> so that's all pretty exciting and getting a lot of progress. Judging by the fact that I see that uh, the plumber took all of his tools, I'm guessing he is done for now. So here's what happened today that I didn't know about. So if you know us, we have my wife and I, and we have seven kiddos. So that means we're gonna go through a lot of hot water, taking showers and baths. Copper likes to get skunked. He's gotta get washed, doing laundry and such. So we went with this beast. This is a on-demand water heater. and it is installed. That's pretty cool. So we have electrician coming tomorrow to scope out, see what we need. And uh, Mid-American at some point here will get it installed. That'll be our electric. Um, propane service, local propane service will be delivering the tank. And then it's just connecting everything and turning it all on. So we'll be moved in here in no time. Let's, uh, let's go upstairs, see if anything happened. So hopefully you guys can see them. Maybe you can. There's little orange and red flags. Right there, there's a wood stake in the ditch. That's where Mid-American's marked out, where the transformer box will be. So we'll have to talk to the electrician tomorrow about going from there up to the house and then water will come straight across over to our well right there and then in front of the well right here is going to be where we're going to put the, the gas tank so it's out of the way but easy access coming up the road for them to refill it so let's go inside okay so welcome inside so as you can see we still have the visible area here where the, the two halves of the house you know come together so they still have to finish that out there's a couple other things too i'll show you those it's like 50 mile an hour winds out there but she don't care she loves burning stuff if you remember the video from last year okay so if any of you pull a camper down the road, you know that things shift. Well, this is built off-site, halves, um, in halves, and then they take it down the road and pick it up with a crane and then sit it down. So things are gonna move, things are gonna shift. So with that, you get some cracking in the drywall, which they will fix and make look better, those up there. And then there's other places too. So not necessarily cracking, but just everything flexing, either when they pick it up or when it's going down the road, you get you know nail holes, screw holes that are loosening up on the drywall or popping out. So they put those back in, then they re-drilled them, then they'll come back and mud them, texture them, touch it all up. But all in all for, uh, I don't know how many pounds one half of a house is, but 
going down the road, and I know the roads between here and where this was sitting, they're not the greatest, so I can imagine things moved. So I'm thinking maybe the next video about the house will kind of walk through everything, you know, as they, as they progress, kind of give updates that way. But, um, you know, depending on weather and, and mid-American, the, the house guys really can't do much until we turn the power on. Plumber can't do much until he has water, which we can't do water until we have the power on. So probably start doing some filler videos where we talk about you know, how we get this far, pricing, scheduling, things to uh, look into if you're thinking about doing this. Um, kind of things we learned along the way, um, going both routes. You know, we were thinking of doing the barn dominium first, and then ultimately stuck with this. Um, there's things on both sides of both worlds that are not ideal and some things that are better, but um, we are ultimately happy because it's not the house that we wanted necessarily as much as we wanted to just be out here. Maybe not with the crazy dog that barks at fire, but out here. So I will leave you this week with what we saw at least for an update. And I just heard that. Did you guys hear that? It's one of those weird soffit noises out there. Now, not every day in Iowa is gonna be a 50 mile an hour wind, but you know, every other day will be. So we we'll have to figure that one out because that was really loud. But we are, I'm gonna make a prediction that we are about four weeks from moving there did you hear it i don't know if you guys picked it up if you don't hear it i'm not gonna put that part in the video but if you do hear it you'll know i'm not crazy um so yeah prediction i think we're about four weeks from moving in now it had been warmish and dry most of the winter, which is why we have gotten so far so fast. But just like everybody else right now, these storm systems that are coming through are raining. So at least it's not snow, although we did get snow yesterday. But what we need is a, a good two week stretch where mid American kidding can get in, trench in the electrical, and then we can kind of check boxes off from there. So electrical, water, gas, septic. Forgot to talk about that. So septic is also on the list, which they also need to be able to run water so they can test the tanks. And uh, we have to have water for that. Now we could probably find a way to test them, bring it in water, but I would much rather just have everything work out and get all the water done. So I'm going to go see if the uh, people need uh, help finishing up chores. I'm going to go make sure that Lauren doesn't burn down the forest. And then uh, I'm going to upload a, a video and you guys can uh, get some updates. But uh, let me know if you are looking into something similar to this and if you have any questions. Um, on both sides, going down both routes, and I'm more than willing to help out on things that we learn. And hopefully, next video, you see a lot of difference. But uh, until then, have a good one.